Back with us now. Look who's here, Sheriff Mark Lamb of uh, Pinal County, Arizona. Okay, so it's great to have you back on. The White House continues to fight in court against border security policies, against things like Remain in Mexico, but the border is growing deadlier by the day. I mean, we have car and truck crashes involving illegal immigrants and human smugglers. They killed a mother and a daughter on this side of the border. Nearly five dozen migrants died when a packed semi careened out of control. So it, does, it, does the White House, are, are, is this registering that this is out of control? You know, I don't, that's a great question. That's what we ask ourselves every day. It, it has to be registering. And, and if it's registering, that means that they're just continuing to turn a willful blind eye to what's happening. They don't care about the people that are being trafficked by the cartels whose lives are being lost. And they certainly don't care about the, the American lives who are being affected by this as well, by traffic accidents. They run from us. We have a pursuit almost every day, and some of those result in traffic accidents. They leave people, people for dead in the desert. They have zero regard for human life. And as long as we as a country continue to allow open borders, the cartels are going to continue to flourish, and they're going to continue to traffic human beings and drugs in our communities. Well, it's, it's just when you look at the narrative out of the White House and the messaging, it just doesn't seem like they're very interested. It's really odd because half of the president's brand was supposed to be compassion and empathy, you know, middle class Joe. And it looks like the most emotional and upset he got about the border in his whole presidency was about that phony news story about border agents allegedly whipping migrants. Yeah, and that was despicable that they didn't side with the Border Patrol who are trying to protect this country. Uh, these guys, they don't care. They don't care. It's not an America first policy or administration. They just don't put America first. And we're seeing it over and over. And the border is the prime example of it. And it's sad. And Americans are taking notice. And it's going to show in the 2022 election. You know, Sheriff, Texas has begun construction of its own border wall. The border states are reacting, taking matters into their own, own hands. Listen to what the Texas governor had to say. Interesting stuff about what's going on. Watch this. Three billion dollars of Texas taxpayer money has been devoted to this cause of Texas securing the border. And so uh, we have a lot of money available to us to continue to build the wall. And Stuart, I'll add this, for Texas, it's going to cost less than it did for the Trump administration for one reason, and that's because uh, in Texas, unlike the Trump administration, we're not having to devote money to acquire the land. Secondly, uh, there are property owners of, of massive acreage on the border who are fed up with Biden's open border policies, and they are donating their land to Texas for us to be able to use that land for free to build a wall on their property. Sheriff, do you hear that? They're donating their land. That's how mad they are. Do, it, will that happen in Arizona and the other border states? What's going on with those states? It's going to be a little bit different, Liz, because Texas is primarily private property. Out here, the majority of the land along the border, over in Cochise County, there's a lot of private land. But, for example, like what comes into my county is an Indian reservation. They'll never be able to get that land. And a lot of it is either state trust land or BLM land, which the government controls. So you're, you're probably not going to see that here in Arizona. But kudos to Texas for doing it. But what is a shame is that Texas has to spend their money to do what the federal government should have done. Yeah, we hear you loud and clear because, you know, border apprehensions and arrests exceeded 100,000 every month since February. That's 10 straight months. This is an administration-induced phenomenon. So, you know, the border states are saying, we got to take matters into our own hands. The federal government is saying, wait a second, we have the authority over immigration policy, but this is truly a federal government state's rights issue, right? The states have a right to protect themselves. What do you say? I agree with that 100%, and I think it needs to be challenged in court. We passed a law here in Arizona years ago that was overturned because the court said what? It's the federal government's responsibility. But when the federal government fails to do their job, I think that then falls on the state. We as sheriffs are doing it. Please come support us at uh, protectamericanow.com. We're going to continue to fight against this, despite the fact that the federal government has left us alone. Is Arizona get left a, us behind. Can Arizona get a, a wall up? I would like to think we could, but we have some challenges that we have to overcome. I'm not a pessimist, but I, we have some legit challenges that will yeah, make we hear it you. difficult. Yeah, federal government control of the land, Indian reservations, interesting stuff. Sheriff Mark Lab, thank you so much for your service to our country. Thanks for coming on. We'll have you back on again soon. Merry Christmas oh, to you. you. Merry Christmas to you all.